I be sliding on these tight beats, no guitar like who she. I hate the motherfucking video. Let's talk about where have I been. Don't look at me. I look like a fucking crackhead. Do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? My body woke me up at 4.30 a.m. because I decided to wake up at 4.30 a.m. for like two days. My body's been deciding to wake up at 4.30 a.m. because that's the time I'm usually supposed to be up. So let me show you what time it is. Hopefully you guys can see the time, but it's 5.22. Let me give you guys a rundown of my entire life and where have I been. But before we get in, hey, what's up, you guys? It's Denise Rowe, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. I see all of you guys subscribing. We're gonna hit 1K before my birthday, and we're gonna get monetized, and I'm gonna keep on putting out motherfucking good content, but 86% of y'all are not fucking subscribed. So go subscribe, okay? I don't wanna have to yell at you at 5 a.m. Like, why do you always get me to this point? Just fuck and subscribe so i got my drink and i'm ready to be messy this is for the gym okay let's get into it where has zania been i posted about two and a half weeks ago about to be three weeks about to be a month i did not take a social media break shit just been happening life has been happening things just has been happening okay and i'll talk about it starting last month around february 12th I had a really big, big event happen in my life. I don't want to talk about it because it's not content. It's not something that I want to talk about. But just to fill you in, I had a passing. And this person was really big in my life. Not like a family member, but someone I used to work with. And he helped me do a lot of stuff. Like when it comes to my, me editing my videos. I have videos in my phone of him helping me edit and just... He's the one who helped me edit on Final Cut Pro. So it really hurt and hit really bad when he passed away, okay? And before he passed away, um, I was just having like troubles happen in Arizona that were hitting me back to back financially and mentally, where I was just like, fuck, like I'm all the way in Atlanta. I'm scared, I don't know what to do. <sighs> After the passing, I just started to fall back into bad habits again. I was eating out every single day, but I was doing good on YouTube. Like, I was doing amazing, right? I put out two story times back to back. No, three story times back to back. And a lot of you guys enjoyed them and are consuming them. And that's where a lot of my subscribers are coming from is those three story times. But nobody knows behind the scene that I was going through a lot when I was posting those videos. And it was actually triggering me in a weird way like usually i could post a story time and laugh about it but it was like whoa like these are really big events that happened in my life like not even two three years ago like it was a couple months ago for the um to the not the it was a couple months ago for the party promoting the videos and it was like literally i seen my best the girl my ex-best friend like seven eight nine months ago almost a year ago because she kept on coming into my job in arizona and i seen that girl at walmart so it was very fresh for me to talk about on top of my passing on top of my family problems so a lot of things were attacking me at once okay and i just started to like go into a very dark place again and I hate talking about it because I think I've already made it very, like, I have mental health problems. <laughs> but it was just, like, it just got really bad really fast. And I was supposed to post, like, two weeks ago. But I ended up getting locked out of my iCloud. Okay? And when I got locked out of my iCloud, I was like, fuck. This is going to take, like, two weeks. Like, I know how this process goes because I... I'm a woman in STEM who worked for technology. So I'm like, fuck it. Like, I'm not gonna post a video this week, okay? I get back into my Apple ID. Tell me fucking why. On top of everything that's happen happening in my life, my computer decided to have a software issue. There's some type of software virus. I don't wanna use virus, 
but there's some type of software issue in my computer that is making my files look like like I made a YouTube video where I was answering guys' questions and it was like this YouTube video is 178 fucking gigabytes I know you're fucking lying I do not record that long videos 178 gigabytes you gotta be fucking kidding me no stop lying on me because at this point you're lying so now we're at this point um i just think that i don't want to use this because i usually am like oh bitches are in psychosis when they say shit like this but like i feel like spiritually i've been having a lot of attacks and there's something in my life or a bitch put something on me that is just like <laughs> bitch <laughs> like but no like i know I'm, i know i'm like ah, funny 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 but he he ha ha but shit's been happening to me in my life that's just that has not been making any sense but i'm gonna show you guys my morning routine on what i do to help my mental health especially when i'm going through things like this and i'm coping i'm grieving and i'm going through all of these things yeah so we're gonna start the day right i already got my little pre-workout right here my sick my celsius eat breakfast go to the gym after the gym we're gonna come back clean the dishes and then we're gonna go to the bank and then after the bank i'm going to edit this video because it should be about like 12 o'clock so we're gonna go sit at starbucks i don't sit with them i don't fuck with them I don't respect what they're doing, the genocide that they're uh, in, fucking improving with that nasty ass Starbucks money, but I just use their Wi-Fi for my YouTube videos. So, with that being said, let's get into my 5 a.m. routine. I took my shower and now I look like a bum. What if fucking, what did, what did she say? I literally had to quote this one. She said, I, in my Balenciaga, I look like a bum, or I think she said I look like a bum in my Balenciaga. But I don't, I don't have no Balenciaga. I have a twenty-one, um, tw Forever Twenty-One, Shh. Forever Twenty-One motherfucking shirt. Okay, um, but this is the fit for the gym. Don't look at the fucking floor. I'm gonna clean when I get back. Tights, shoes, shirt, headband, and I drank all of my drink. So let's head out. We are on the fucking way to the gym. Okay, it looks dark outside only for the reason that it's still... Wait, what's daylight saving? I genuinely don't fucking know what daylight saving is. And this is gonna look a little bit ghetto, but I lost my fucking keys. And for some reason, my apartments like to call themselves luxury, right? But my gate doesn't fucking work. This isn't fucking luxury. And I have to... I have to like <laughs> I have to like let me show you what I have to do. It's really bad. <laughs> Ooh. Why my bag didn't want to come out? Like <laughs> that's a mini story time while I'm waiting for the train. But it this has to be true and do not try to go fucking find the person who i'm talking about but there was this tv show where two people were about to start fighting and what started the fight is because the person said oh i heard you were flying out niggas and fucking them for free and it has to be true because why is that a rumor about you but let me tell you right yeah yeah good morning so what happened was, is that one, this guy that I used to fuck with, um, he was just a bad person. And I don't want to talk about it because it's like a very personal situation. I didn't have no feelings towards him, but let's just say he'll live with me forever. Um, <laughs> but he, one time, like I cut him off. Like I always was cutting him off and like putting, getting back with him, right? And this one time, I only wanted the sex. So fucked and then like this time it was different because it was like we were actually like enjoying each other's time and not arguing with each other so i ended up staying at his house for like an entire fucking day right 
so when I was at his house, he was like, I just feel so much closer to you. I want to tell you things. Like, I want to, I just want, like, I just feel like we're so much closer. So this man ended up telling me that a celebrity, I, she's like, she has to be like an endless celebrity. But she flew out and they fucked. Mind you, I don't care that they did that. Showed me the messages and was like, that's how you need to see. And he was like, oh yeah, she flew me out. I was like, how the fuck did you guys meet? Then he revealed to me that he used to harass a woman by sending them dick pics over and over again until they answered. And she was just one. Obviously, she's in that field. So she seen it and she flew him out and they fucked. He ended up like telling me, right? And yeah. And once he told me that, I was like, whoa like what it just threw me off it just threw me off it threw me off and i don't want to tell you why it threw me off and yeah but that was crazy but the train is about to come i'm just waiting it's like i think everybody in the world revolves around me and people are just paying attention to me but they need to me now i made it to the gym and now we're gonna do pilates and I have to use my phone for the Pilates class. So, I'm gonna do some Pilates on my phone with a brand and then I'll be back. So, the other, so yesterday, let me tell you guys about this. Yesterday, tell me why I fucking thought I'd seen somebody that I used to know. Yeah, we'll say it like that. Tell me why I'd seen somebody who I thought died. Like, in my mind, that nigga was dead. <laughs> And my eyes have been getting progressively worse. Like I genuinely need to make my vision appointment so that I can get glasses because like my eyesight is getting so bad. Because I swear I was like this. I literally like this. Bruh. And then I was so close to walking up to him and went like this. Because if that was actually him, I don't know if it's him or not. I think it is because he had a beanie on. So I wasn't able to like tell exactly who it was. But I was so close to being like, oh yeah, fuck working out. I don't even want to lose weight. I don't even want to. I, I, I'm going to disappear. <laughs> you do not have to see me be fuck again. That's how close I was yesterday to not coming back to this gym. But now I'm waiting to see if he comes back so that I could confirm, so I could feel comfortable with coming in the morning because it's, it's, it's nothing but a thing to come at night. <laughs> it's nothing but a, oh, I can sleep in. I can sleep in and go, oh yeah, tonight? Yeah, it's nothing but a thing. But I'm almost done with my workout. I love key, I have to go on like a cycle, cycle thing, cycle thing really quick. And then, um, yeah, I guess I can start heading home. I definitely need to bleach my hair because my roots are growing in so thick and yeah. Got home and I'm about to make breakfast for everyone, but I think I'm about to take a nap because my head is pounding and I'm hungry. So that's how my morning went. I literally woke up and I was like, bleaching my hair. Should I bleach my eyebrows? I bleached them. I don't know if I like them or not yet. I possibly will keep them for like a couple days. But with that being said, thank you for spending my mornings. Thank you for spending your morning with me. And I appreciate you guys so much. Bye.